Hi everyone, welcome to the 10th installment of Art Class from Home. My name is Evan Furness, I'm the visual arts educator at the gallery. And this week we are taking a look at John Fox's artwork, The Quebec Conference. This painting uses a split composition to tell a story. The painting is made up of three different panels, each one showing a different part of a larger narrative, all connected through Fox's use of the color blue. For this activity, you will create either a drawing or painting that tells a story using this multi-panel method that Fox uses in this artwork. You'll also be limited to only one color, but the demo will give you some advice on how using a limited color scheme can actually add meaning to your artwork. So, hope you check out the demo. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you soon with another video. Hi everyone, welcome to the 10th installment of Art Class From Home. This episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm not really going to walk you through anything. I'm just going to explain my process behind creating this painting, which is based on John Fox's artwork, The Quebec Conference. Now that artwork is split into multiple panels that tell different parts of a larger story. And that's what this activity is all about. Telling stories through multiple scenes. That painting is also exclusively done in the color blue, which makes it a monochromatic painting. And that's something that I want to challenge you folks to do as well. Make a painting using only one color, including its tints and shades. Now, tints and shades, if you're not familiar, uh, are terms to describe changing the color of your paint. Now, a tint is when you add white to a color. So this is the base yellow that I have. This is basically exactly how it looks coming out of the tube. This is a tint of that. I added white to it. Whereas the shade, as you might guess, is adding black. So everywhere that you see dark here is a shade of this yellow. And same with anywhere you see kind of a whiter color. Even the white that's kind of almost close to being pure white, it's slightly tinted with it is a tinted version of this yellow. It has a little bit in it. So now that we've got some terms out of the way, I just want to explain how I went about making this painting and how you can think about making your painting, especially when it comes to choosing a color to use. The first step in this painting process is actually making a story. Um, now that can be a full-blown narrative with a beginning, middle, and end, which is actually a great way to think about these paintings. Um, if you have three different panels, like in Fox's artwork, you could do one as a beginning, one as a middle, one as an end. Or you can do what's called a diptych, which is basically two related paintings right beside each other as part of the same artwork. And once you have a story in mind, you want to think about how that story makes you feel. Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? And once you have that emotion in mind, you want to choose a color that kind of fits the emotion that you're trying to present. Now, a lot of times people will associate blue with sadness, they associate red with anger, and they associate yellow with happiness. I went with happiness, and the story that I'm telling is the story of me making an egg and then putting it on the table to eat it um, on a Sunday or Saturday morning. Now, once you have that, your color and your story, you're going to want to choose specific moments that encapsulate or define the story that you're trying to tell. Uh, for me, that's the making of the egg, and the serving of it on the table, but they can be as specific or as vague as you want. So rather than showing you the process of making this painting, this video was really just about walking you through the steps of how to go about making a narrative painting. So I hope that this video gave you some ideas on how to go about making your narrative and monochromatic painting. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you soon with another video.